All right, coming at you fast and furious. Got another bow review for you today. It is a 2014 Bowtech Experience. Let me just to give you my first impressions of this bow. I've shot it, I set it up, got it ready for hunting. I want to be able to shoot these bows before I give you a review because first impressions can be a little bit misleading. Every guy with a new toy thinks it's awesome the first week he's had it. Just, that's the bottom line. So I like to shoot these bows a little bit, run them through the woods, put them through the gauntlet before I bring them to you. <coughs> and this bow I've had for a little over a week, about a week and a half, and wow, just wow is all I've got to say about this bow. It's uh, unreal, unreal. Let me give you the specs. It's uh, 4.2 pounds, a little on the heavy side, 32 inches axle axle, perfect for hunting. Also, you can cross this bow over into the 3D segment of archery. 7 inch brace height. Awesome. Awesome size for the brace height. And then um, draw weight adjustability from 40 to 70 pounds. This one's 50 to 60 pound limbs. And 26 and a half to 31 inches draw length adjustability. They do have a rotating module here on the cams, the binary cam system. But it does require a bow press to get to some of the links lengths just as the set screws will be behind the limb at some point. Uh, this bow, all of your Bowtech bows come with you know your your black limbs but the variation is in the you know whether it's a black ops finish. I have it in the mossy oak breakup. <clears throat> Not a real defined camo finish you know around the cutouts and things that nature you can tell there's definitely some smearing but it looks like camouflage. They didn't miss any, you know, there's no parts of this bow that are not dipped. There's no, no parts of this bow that are not finished, you know, and I really like the grip, the color of the grip, that red laminate. It's a fake wood, but looks pretty cool. Bowtech did have some problems in the past with the invasion and the insanity um, of their limbs peeling the graphics, and I believe they fixed that with their carbon core limbs here on the Bowtech experience. I got this bow used and there's no problem with peeling or anything like that. It uh, doesn't appear that the bow was shot very much, but you can tell the graphics are pretty sick. So, I really like the overall aesthetics of the bow when I first got it. Love their center pivot technology models. I've had a Commander, I've had a Guardian. Never really gotten to the new center pivot ex extremes or anything like that, but. I didn't do that because I owned a Bowtech 82nd Airborne and that draw cycle was just so stiff for a speed bow. It was their first venture into the 350 feet per second range and I really was kind of turned off by Bowtech, but I decided to go ahead. I heard some a lot of good things about the binary cam system, the tunability, and I'm a home bow, I'm a home Bowtech. You know, I'm a, I'm a home bow mechanic. I do all my own stuff, try to as much as I can. And so that attracted me to this bow, the tunability and the shootability of this bow really garnered my attention. The other thing is, I didn't tell you the spec, but this bow is rated for 335 feet per second. And it exceeds 335 feet per second. I love a company that will come out with a bow and tell you a true IBO speed on their bow. But IBO speeds, I'm not a speed freak. I've told you all that with my elite reviews. I love my elites and things of that nature. They're just, they're not as fast as these Bowtex, but they shoot just as good. But this bow has the flex guard, which will also add to that speed, the flex cable guard. It flexes in and out, in as you draw and then out as you shoot. And so, <clears throat> all of that is secondary to how does this bow shoot. Looks great. Holds great, balance is great in my hand, grip is great, how does it shoot? So I'm gonna shoot an arrow for you. I've got this again set at 29 inches, 60 pounds. Let me get in the camera for you. Stiff, you know. Uh, but it, it, it's consistent all the way through. I don't, you know, I, I don't feel like I'm, I'm gonna, I can draw this bow really easy in the deer woods. I can hold it really easy. 
it's 80% let off. Let me creep with it. Got plenty of creep, probably a quarter of an inch, you know, and even at that, it doesn't feel like it's going to rip my arm off whenever I, you know, creep with the bow. So if I'm bending or whatever, let me go ahead and put a shot out there. That's nuts. Like I told you, dead nuts. If I didn't release the trigger on this bow, I would not be able to tell that it had gone off. That's, there's no vibration. Like I said, I, I have it set up for hunting. So, you know, I've got weight on the string. I've got string silencers. I've got an Armor Tech Excel site. I've got a whisker biscuit and I've got a Nap Apache stabilizer. But I have shot this bow bare bow and it feels the exact same way as it does when it's set up. So I'm actually gonna draw it one more time, put one more shot through for you. Solid back wall. I can't say enough, I just can't say enough good thing. It's got everything. It's got solid back wall, good valley, consistent smooth draw cycle, and raging fast speeds. What else could you ask for in a bow? You know, you don't really dip over into the valley either. You don't, you can't even tell you're in the valley, but it doesn't want to rip your arm off. It's, it's, it's unlike anything I've ever felt. And it holds. I mean, it holds so steady on the target. It holds like a longer actual axle bow, you know. And I know that's cliche. A lot of guys say that, but it does really hold like a longer axle axle bow. It doesn't move at all. It doesn't jump. It doesn't twist. It doesn't move at all when you shoot. Like it literally does not move. The bow is so symmetrical. It's so in tune with itself. It's so together that it doesn't doesn't have any recoil. No hand. Absolutely no hand shock. I've never been able to say that a bow has no hand shock, but this bow has no hand shock. And it holds dead nuts on target. <clears throat> the only two things that I don't like about this bow, having had it for a little while, it's 4.2 pounds. Okay. Not a big deal. I'll take the stabilizer off. Because the bow's so good, so well in tune, I'll just take the stabilizer off. It doesn't need it anyways. And I'll have the same bow as I would have had if I had the stabilizer on. And it'll just be a little bit lighter. Second thing, it is a little bit noisy. Okay. This new string stop they've got with the grooves in it, and I'll show it to you. I'll bring it up there and show it to you. I think it's a little bit more flimsy than your traditional string stop, and because this bow is producing so much energy that it slaps that, and that rubber slaps up against itself and up against the Wait. string and whatever, and it is a little bit noisy. So, <laughs> I don't really like that, but I do know that Bowtech makes an aftermarket string stop, or you can even buy one off of like the Insanity or the Invasion, and you can set it up with one of those and not have any issues. But it's just, this bow is just so awesome. I really can't say enough good things. I've got the draw cycle of an Elite smoothness. I've got the back wall of an Elite. I've got everything that Elite offers me. And you know, you guys know I rave about my Elite bows, but I've got everything that my Elite tries to offer me. And the difference is I'm not shooting 260 feet per second. I'm shooting 295 feet per second, 300 feet per second with a 421 grain arrow. That to me is nuts. That means that that deer's not gonna jump my strain near as fast as he would at 260 feet per second. And that means my deer is not gonna go near as far with that much kinetic energy behind a bow and an arrow. So ultimately, if you get a chance, I know these bows are still a little bit more expensive. It's hard to get a hold of them. <clears throat> I got a deal of a deal on mine. I just happened to, you know, the Lord really blessed me with this bow. <clears throat> and I was really happy to be able to pick it. I mean, there was no questions in my mind as to what I was going to do. The octane strings have been shot on this bow, but they're in great shape. The bow is just, it's awesome. So if you get a chance, go go check out, go shoot a Bowtech experience. And go shoot a Bowtech with these new binary cams on them. They don't feel anything like the Bowtech 82nd Airborne. They don't feel anything like the Bowtech Guardian. These new cams are much easier to pull, much smoother draw cycle, <clears throat> much more consistent draw cycle, and just make for a much more comfortable bow. So Bowtech's got everything they had before, 
but now they're just a little bit more comfortable. And that's a plus in my mind. Thanks and have a great day.